hey lovely people welcome back to my channel in this video today i'll be showing us how to make this beautiful butterfly short dress that you're seeing on my thumbnails if this is what you would love to watch kindly sit back and roll with me On my table right now is a two and a half yard of African print material. I've already gone ahead to fold it into two, then into four, because I want to cut the front and the back side together. So I'll go ahead and take my measurement. First of all, I'll be going ahead to draw the borderline. Once I'm done drawing the borderline, from the borderline, I will take the length of the dress I'm making right now. The length of the dress I am making right now is 42 and the material itself is 44 so I'm going to be leaving it at that. The 2 inches will be for the hemming. For this particular dress I'm making right now, I'll be taking my measurement on the right side. This is not the wrong side of the material. It is the right side of the material. And I'll be drawing it very faint because it's the right side I'm drawing. Just when you're doing your own, make sure you is visible that you can see it enough. But it's on the right side, I am taking my measurement. So I'm going to go ahead and take the shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement here is 16. And 16 divided by 2 is 8. And then my my um sleeve length is nine so i will just go ahead and add nine inches to the seven inches making it 16 then i'll add extra two inches making it 18 so i will take my shoulder measurement at 18 because it's a cut together sleeve then what will i do again right now i'll go ahead and mark 18 down i'll make sure i take 18 to be the width of the dress so i'll just mark 18 and then i'll draw a straight line to connect the dots down down that will be the width of the dress okay guys i'll be going ahead to take the neck width and the neck depth for my dress the neck width for the back and the front is three inches but the neck depth for that of the back is 1.5 and that of the front is three inches so i'm going to be marking it together then i will connect i will curve it the way you've seen me do right now after i'm done with that i'm going to go ahead and take my um, bust point as in from my shoulder to my bust is 12 inches i'm going to just identify it by drawing a mark then from there i'll take my bust circumference my bust circumference here is um, 39 39 divided by 4 is 9.75 i will go ahead and mark it then I will add one inch is allowance. So what I'll be taking there actually is 10.75, not 9.75, because I'm adding one inch is allowance. So I will mark it. Remember, I am doing this thing to be fair. It's going to be faint. You might not see it, but I'll make it as visible as I can see it so that when I am stitching, I'll be able to stitch in the right areas. If you're doing your own, make sure you do it as visible as possible so that you'll be able to see the lines when you're stitching. So I'll go ahead and identify my waist. My waist from my shoulder it's is 18. Then I'll just identify it too and then take my waist measurement. My waist circumference is 36. 36 divided by 4 is 8. Then I'll mark it there and then I will take my, I'll add one inch is allowance. Then I'll just mark it there. Then I will go ahead and identify my hips. My hips from my waist is from my, uh, from the borderline as in from the shoulder is 27 inches. So I'll go ahead and identify it. Then I will take my hip circumference. My hip circumference for this, for the purpose of this tutorial is 44 and 44 divided by 2 by four will give me 11 so i'll go ahead and mark 11 and then add one inch is allowance to make it 12 inches so i will mark it so i'm going to go ahead and connect my the dots i've already identified and it's going to be faint it's not going to please pardon me because this is the right side of the clute. once i get to the hips area i'll just take it down from the hips area i'll just take the measurements down 
to the full length of the dress. Just wash me as I do so. And once I am done with this measurement, I will go ahead and cut it out. And remember, I am not cutting from my body measurement itself. I am cutting from the width of the dress already that I've, I've, I've marked in the first place. Okay, once I'm done with it, I forgot to come down by one one inch on the shoulder area. So I, that's what I'll be doing right now. I'll be coming down by one and a half inch on the shoulder area because this is a cut together sleeve. So I'm coming down by one and a half inch. And once I have come down by one and a half inch, I'm going to connect it directly to my neck width. So then once I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and cut out the material that I have already measured. Remember, I am not cutting from here. I'm cutting from here. So just watch me as I do so. This place is for stitching. The body measurement I identified is for stitching, not for cut out. So just watch me as I do this. So I'm done cutting it out. Now what I'm going to go ahead to do is to separate, bring out the back, the um the one for the back, then I, I will now cut the neck width of the front. You know the neck width is different. So I'm going to cut the neck width of the front. When you're cutting your own, you first of all cut the neck width of the back so that it will not affect the front. Then you will remove the back the way I have already done now and I am cutting the front. So from here now, I'm going to go down by, from on the neck, on the center front of the neck, I'm going to come down by four inches to create a slant, create an opening because there is an opening for the mat, for the style I am sewing. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to slash it open right now. So, so once I'm done with this, I'm going to be going ahead to transfer the body measurements of this, as in the chalk, which I have already marked on this, to the other side of the material. I'm going to open it up and then transfer the measurements to the other side of the material. So this that, that's what I'm showing you right, right now because I'm going to be transferring it to the other side because that's where I'll be sewing. Then once I am done transferring it, I'm going to add a little design. And this is what I'll be using for the design. Okay, I've already gone ahead to cut it out and placed it on the area I want it to be. And this is the front. This is the back. I turned it and put it at the right side, wrong side, because I'll be turning it once I am done stitching it in the front. I'm going to use it to turn it. And it's going to be in the front area. So I've Put it on the wrong side i'm gonna have to use my pin to secure it on the neck so i'm going to go ahead and stitch it on my on the machine by half an inch once i am done stitching it by half an inch the way i am showing you right now that's the way i'm going to be stitching it on the machine then i will come and show you i'll come and bring you so that we'll turn it turn it together once i am done stitching it on my machine by half an inch i will bring it back then we'll see it together we are working on this together Okay, here we'll have it. I am done stitching it by half an inch. The next thing I'm going to be doing is to take my scissors and then give it a notch. Cut it. And doing this, you have to be very careful not to cut your stitches. Because if you cut through your stitches, you have to start afresh. So you just give it a little notch to, so that when you turn it over, the glute will relax. So I'm going ahead to turn it over. You are going to turn your own the way you see me do right now. So once I am done turning it over... You're going to see the results. I hope you're enjoying this class. I hope you're with me. Kindly give it a thumbs up if you are enjoying the class. And I hope you are going to give it a try. So what I'll be doing ahead to do next is to give it a good ironing. Once I'm done with that, we'll go ahead and do the next thing. So right now, I am done ironing it. So what will I do next? I'll be using my hemming gum to hold it down the way you're seeing me do. I'm, first, I'm going to first of all fold the edge. So that not to allow it to flay. I'm going to fold the edge. Once I fold the edge and iron it down, then I'll use my hemming gum to gum it to the dress so that it wouldn't shift when I am sewing it on the machine. So that's what I'm doing right now. So once you use your hemming gum to hold it down on the material, sewing it, stitching it on the machine will not be difficult for you because it wouldn't shift. It will just make it your work easier. So working with hemming gum is a very beautiful thing. Always get your hemming gum and stick it. But if you don't have, have hemming gum, you can go ahead and just stitch it on your own. So I am done stitching it right now. You can see it is already okay. I am done stitching. I have done the stitching and it's okay. So what will I be doing now? I'll be taking the back and lay it on the front. And lay it on the front 
that is right side facing right side i will join the shoulder but before i go ahead to join the shoulder i will be using i'll go ahead and use the material to form something like a bias and use it to turn the back neck side which i have not done so i'm going to just use it and turn the back neck side once i'm done with that you're going to see it look at what i'll be using to join to turn the back uh, the back neck side so i'll sew it like that half an inch then i will turn it over then and sew it and it's going to be neatly done so that i easy to turn the back side here we go i'm already done with the sewing the stitching on the machine you can see i've already joined the shoulder i've already uh, see i have already joined the neck i've turned it so i'm going to be flipping it over once i flip it over remember i told you that when we are joining the, the, the back side to the front side i'll be stitching on the right side not on the wrong side and this is where the markings i took initially the body measurements i took initially comes to play because that is where i'll be stitching exactly on that um, markings that i did on that markings that i identified initially that's where i'll be stitching you can see how i'm showing you that is the particular place i'll be stitching it on my machine i'm going to stitch it down from the two sides because I've already transferred the markings to the other side. So I'm stitching on the markings I have done. But before I go ahead and do that, I am going to first of all hem the down. I'm going to hem the down. First of all, I'll be folding my material, I'll be double folding my material. I'll fold it the first one and then the second one by one, one inch. I'll fold by one inch and then fold it again by another one inch. Then I will stitch it. I'm going to stitch the down part first before I will go ahead and fold and then um, hem the and um, stitch the two sides of the material so here we go you can see the material already i have already gone ahead to stitch the two sides like i said i've already gone ahead to stitch the two sides you can see how beautiful it is looking our clothes is ready or already it's ready you can see i've already gone ahead to stitch the both sides and then i have even gone ahead to hem it as well that is our clothes is ready just watch it out look at how beautiful it is looking this is our handwork together i know you go ahead and try it and i know you love this tutorial kindly give me a thumbs up if you did kindly subscribe to our page if you have not done so and put on your notification bell to always be the first to get notified whenever we post a new video. I know you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you so much for sitting through. Thank you for watching. And thank you for always coming around to check on us. You guys are wonderful and amazing. I love you all. I love you so much. See you in my next. Bye.